Yeah, I want to go to my doc, put my doctor's hat on tonight and uh, <clears throat> really involve some theories. We want to actually heal people and help those that are out there. I would say if you take 10 friends, count the amount of people out of that 10 that are single. They may be good people, good looking people, good character people, uh, people with, you know, good habits, good futures who are on paper are single people that should be in relationships. However, that is not the case. Right. I know for myself, <clears throat> uh, just meeting women, just meeting women, uh, and I'm going to throw this to Jeff afterwards, but just meeting women, it just seems like there's so much PTSD, and that's something that I just trademarked for a book that I'm going to finish off in the next week or so. All right. Um, but I will. Post-traumatic single disorder. It's just a lot of people, whether it's men or women, that have not dealt with the past, right. um, or we're not even had the chance to be responsible and and take some accountability for why we're single. It's always the other person's fault. So in the midst of me meeting different people, I I meet a lot of women who first thing you do instead of getting to know me or getting to have a good conversation. You're hearing about the last relationship and the relationship before that, and you're hearing about, you know, uh, how this last guy treated them and how they're not going to stand for it or how they're so independent. And that's the time when you meet someone. If you're really trying to meet someone, you should be taking that time to get to know the person, right? not destroying what possibilities that you could have. And that's the thing that I think happens all too often. 